the deal, YouTube. It's your boy, Lavon Casey. I'm back again with another video. This is my response to We Love Her 07. Entitled the video says, Is it the downfall of third parties? Now let's watch the video and do a commentary on it, and let's begin. YouTube land, we love her. I'm back here as always. All right, I'm just going to jump right into it here. Um, obviously, I haven't made a video in a week, but do you think third parties are dying no um or do you think is because there are some third parties out there that are still making good games Mortal Kombat X Batman Arkham Knight Witcher 3 and soon so to be later Tekken 7 so no there there there's still some third parties that are making some good games there still are but is our third parties are die dying, a little bit, but not too much. I mean, let's continue. The, the downfall of third parties. Um, yeah, you know, you know, it, it has. This industry has been going through a lot of weird shit the past couple of years. Um, obviously, it's a transition. You know, they're still kind of. It's been slow, not even just for the Wii U. I mean, it has been slow for a lot of systems. A lot of great stuff are it is coming. A lot of great stuff is coming out. A lot of great games, but um, I just think <clears throat> you know with the whole thing with Konami and everything like that, um, and Capcom and Sega and just a lot of EA. Uh, it just feels like they are a shadow of their former selves. You know, they, they really are not who they were 10 years ago, 15 years yes, ago, whatever. Yes, yes, <clears throat> You know, great games used to come out all the time, pretty much, from them. Um, they're some of my favorite developers. I love Sega, I love Capcom, love Konami, um, for different reasons, for different franchises that I love. Um, I don't love everything that they put out, but, you know, obviously Castlevania with Konami and stuff like that. Um, Sonic with Sega and Resident Evil and Mega Man and stuff like that. You know, series that we all love, you know. Um, it, 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 but right now, you know, with the whole Konami thing and Kojima and that drama, and obviously a year ago, was it about a year ago, year and a half ago, a year Capcom was ready to be bought out, and they don't have a lot of money, and they're just kind of struggling and scratching mm -hmm. by or whatever. Yeah, um, better old just, Street Fighter God, 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though it was a couple years ago, but it's still relevant in people's minds that they were voted the worst company in two times, the worst company two times in a row. Um, and Sega's struggling. They're not really putting anything out that much anymore. They're not doing, they're not really doing anything. Sega's not doing shit. They put out Sonic Boom and that fucking failed. Both of those versions failed. Um, it was just a fucking train wreck. Um, that game is trash. I don't know about the handheld version. I think some people like Sonic Boom on 3DS. But, all, you know, it's just overall, it's just not good. Not good at all. Um, not, not putting out any good games. Not good. No no effort at all. Uh, and a lot of our fair developers left those companies years ago. They started their own companies and they made their own games. And those games are 100 times better than anything that Sega or Capcom could ever put out. You know, like Evil Within is better than Resident Evil 5 and 6 and Revelations 2. Um, you know, you just have all these indie games that are. You know, I'm not a big fan of indie games, but. You know, Indian games are very good. They are very good. You should try some. You should try some, bro. You should. You really should. Indie games that are doing it better than anything that they could, that, that the major publishers can put out. Um, it's just really awful, you know. It really is sad, but but they are. The third parties are a shadow. They're from ourselves. They're not the same. A lot of our, you know, they're they're just pretty much killing off our. Favorite franchises, putting a gun to their head and blowing, pulling the trigger pretty much on our favorite franchises. And it's just awful, you know. Mega Man is dead, Castlevania, stuff like that. Um, obviously, we have Kenjin and Fune doing Mighty Number no. 9. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's just kind of funny that everyone's you know, giving Nintendo a hard time. Even though the Wii U is not doing that great right now. And it's not, but at the same time, it's not dead. It's not a total fucking failure. Uh, it's kind of is, in a way, unless 
I doubt it, but maybe put themselves back together with DNA, the DNA membership. Also, here's my question. When it when you guys think that the DNA membership will come out this year, they did say it's coming out this year. So unless they do something really, really big, which is unlikely, then yeah, it's kind of a failure. And yet the funny thing is that you said the Vita is a failure, Wii Lover, but yet the Vita's get more games than the Wii U. Ha! The Vita is getting more games than the Wii U, and yet that's considered a failure. It's getting more games than the Wii U. And yet the Wii U is more powerful than the PS Vita. That's the funny thing, yet it still ain't getting the games. It still ain't getting the third party. Third party games. Yes, third party does matter. They do take up 70-80% of the gaming industry. And what makes up, and it does really make up your success. As a console. Exclusives do determine your success as well. But third party really does determine some of your success. Successful. Success. As, as a console. So yeah. Let's continue. But, uh, you know, the games that are on are good. But it just it's just really hilarious to me that people are, you know, Nintendo's not listening to our, to our demands. They're not putting features. Which they aren't. They aren't listening to our demands. They've been stuck in the times. I've been hearing that there might be a big Wii U update or something in August or something. I don't know. That's why I've been hearing that it might. And some people have said to me that. Wii U chat and Miiverse are supposed to be integrated together or something like that. I don't know, but it's supposed to be coming out this year and update for that or something this year. I don't know. That's what I heard. So, yeah. Let's continue. Choosing the Wii U that we want. Game development is slow. There's a game that's coming out every couple months. It's not... Yeah. They, they need to... They need to do something with them game droughts, man. They really do. They really do need to get something with them games. Do something with them games droughts. In fact, a solution would be put a 3DS player on the Wii U like they did. Like they made a GBA player on the GameCube. That would be one of their solutions. Or another solution, make some remasters. Make some remasters of GameCube games like they did with... Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Stuff like that. Yeah. Well, and yeah, that's all I can think of. So, yeah. Unless you got some other solutions as far as Nintendo Wii U routes, what, what can it do? What can it? What can you? Ugh. Anyways, never mind. Let's let's continue. You know, the Wii U's boring system is just sitting there collecting dust, you know, but at the same time, you have third parties just practically crumbling right before your fucking eyes. You know, they're just not... They're pretty much dead in a lot of gamers' eyes. I think that, I think that you're more mad about the business practices of third party, which I understand. But a lot of third party developers are kind of struggling. They are kind of struggling right now, so they need to get the most money in a in a business in a fast way and in a way that doesn't appeal to gamers in a way that doesn't that doesn't really make gamers like that. So yeah, that so yeah. They aren't. I mean, like I said, all our favorite franchises are just gone. You know, pretty much. You know, and it's just not the same. You know, um, I don't mean to be depressing in this video or whatever like that, but that's just, that is just what it is. And you guys know it too. Um, the mainstream media knows it. All the rest of the gaming community on every site, everywhere, on forum, we all know it. Um, you know, with the whole like Konami thing of Kojima and the Silent Hills drama and Metal Gear Solid thing, it's just awful. But I don't know. Obviously, we have Capcom trying. I, I feel like out of all the big third parties, I think Capcom's trying to get back to the roots a little bit. 
and you know trying to care for their franchises. Um, obviously, the fans care, so they should care. Uh, like they're doing Resident Evil 2 remake. Who knows how that'll turn out? But that might be good. It might be bad. Who knows? <sighs> Who knows? Um, we'll just have to wait and see. I don't know. It's just really kind of weird. Just awful to see all these third parties just you know losing their identity. You know they're not really doing anything at all. You know. They are still making games. They are still making games. Maybe games that don't appeal to you necessarily, but maybe game. But they are making games that appeal to the mainstream and other people that like those type of games. Anyway, let's continue. Um, that's pretty much all I can say in this video. Uh, I don't want to keep it too long. I guess so. Uh, I'm just ramble on here. And make this video boring or whatever, and, uh, but I don't just want to, yeah, I think that's probably about it, that's all I want to say, so yeah, comment down below if you have a video response, what do you think about third parties now, you know, they, I think that the business practice of third party, the business practices of third party is kind of, it's kind of dumb, I don't know why they are doing it, but they are just doing it just to make money, Personally, I think they should make they should finish the game first, then release DLC later on. But instead, they put they make day one DLC. They put on they have done on this DLC. They have, they're even abusing season passes now. I mean, yeah, I think third parties should optimize their games. Finish their games, actually finish their games, put all the content in their games, and yeah, and hope for the best of them, best of that. So yeah, let's continue. Yeah, they're just not the same as they were 10 years ago, you know, 15 years ago, whatever. Yeah. I mean, yeah what do you think? Kind of right. Are they dying? Is, it, is this the downfall right. of third parties? Is this really it? Um, it just feels like they're not trying anymore. And it just feels like a lot of third parties either want to do reboots or sequels, or it's just remasters. HD remasters of their games, and that's all they have, really. You know, because they don't have any talent. And that's all they can do is touch up some games here and there, you know. That's pretty much all it is. But yeah, that's like actually my last thoughts on this video, so don't want to forget about that. They're, you know, that's, but, but that's it, you know, remasters. That's all they're... Putting out, you They're know, some new or games. remix. They are it's making some like, new games, like Tekken 7. <sighs> Anyways, like that, yeah. Some JRPGs here and there. So, peace yeah. out. Maybe Good that response. might. Comment down below, whatever. Maybe that might yeah. interest. Later, interest peace out. Some Bye. Japanese RPGs. And that's the end of the video. See you guys later. Peace. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Do you think I was right? Do you think I, I was wrong? Do you think We Love Your 7 was right? Do you think he was wrong? Anyway, guys, see you guys later, and peace. Hey, everyone, one big boss here. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see.